goes on YouTube, OSC83 here. And in this video, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a, how to make wallets out of trading card ga trading card games such as Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, etc. And uh, so I'll, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you guys a complete step-by-step -step of, of how how to make how to make one from the get-go. Well, to prove it to you, I've had, I've I've already previously made a couple of them. So this, the one on my right hand is the one I'm currently using now, and I'll tell you this right now: is it really did serve me well. It has served me well for quite some time. There's no problems with it whatsoever, and and quite possibly the cheapest way to to make wallets like this instead of having to pay like 20 bucks or so for a brand new. So anyway, in this video, I'll be using World of, the World of Warcraft trading card game. As well as the as well as the, the basic tools that you need in order to make these kind of kind of requirements. So with that said, on with the show. So anyway, the basic tools that you need that you're gonna need in order to make these card wallets are these card these card collectors pages. We're supposed to have we're supposed to have nine pockets per page as so. So you need this as well as a pair of scissors, some tape. And a stapler. Oh, and most importantly, you just pick out ten randomly selected cards. So first of all, take out a sheet of uh, of the trading card page, like so. And what you want to do is, and what you want to do is is to is to cut out the bottom portion of the sheet. Cut out, cut out the bottom portion of the sheet. The reason why is because uh, we want to. We wanted to go ahead and fold fold it up like we wanted to go ahead and fold it up like this, so that way we can be able to make the wallet. So, so of course get out your pair. So of course get out your pair of scissors and start cut and start cutting away the bottom portion of the page, so that way we can so that way the bottom portion will no longer be useful to us. The next step you want to do is take out take out two randomly selected cards like so. It doesn't matter how you want to do it. It's clear. It's just up to you. And you also want to take out the tape. And what you want to do is take out a strip, strip of tape like so, and start rolling around and have the sticky portion, sticky portion of the tape face up. And the ne and next, the next thing, put that strip of tape onto this side of the tape, this side of the card. Excuse me. And you pretty much want to, and after that, you pretty much want to do the exact same thing by taking every, each strip of tape and put it towards the other other sides top left corner and the bottom left and right corner. All right, once you get all four strips of tape on, onto this card, again, doesn't matter which one, you take the other card and you, and you, and then you put them all together at once, so carefully, like so, and then once you get, get them in place, then press on, press on both, both of the cards as the, as the strips of tape will be able to stick together. So once you do that with these two cards with the strips of tape, then go ahead and repeat the same process with the other the other eight eight randomly selected cards. All right, now now that we have our ten cards taped up and ready to go, now we can start making the wallet. Now, what, the first thing you want to do is take take these three cards and grab your newly cut six page uh, trading card sheet, and you want to take the three cards, turn them upside down, and put them in, put them inside each page. Like so. Now with this done, now we, we take the other two cards and we can put them right side up on the very top. And once that's once that's done, we fold it up, and this this is what should look like. This is what the card wallet would look like when when it's finished. Though we're not we're not close enough. But we're getting there. Oh, and uh, the reason why we have this pocket right, this pocket left open, left open right here, is because uh, it allows you to put your other your important cards in there, such as your driver's license, state ID, credit cards, gift cards, business cards, you name it. And for this side, this is where you put your money in, in here. Now, before we actually begin to staple to to make our wallet, we're gonna take out our stapler, and before we go any further. We're gonna go. Ahead, we're gonna. The first thing we want to do is to tape up th these top, these uh, these two cards right here, so that way that way so that way they wouldn't they wouldn't slip they wouldn't slip out of range. Make sure that the card is 
is all the way inside inside the pocket. So here we go. Take it up. I want you to be able to take care of that. Do the exact same thing with the other card, and we can move on to the stapling, pro stapling process of the wallet. Now, what we want to do is uh, take take up this side of the this side of the wallet, and we want to make sure to push the cards all the way towards the right. Because the reason reason for that is because we want to staple. We want to do three staples of this side right here, like so. So that way it it holds up the cards without them slipping or sliding, slipping and sliding all throughout, all throughout. In, in the, put the wallet into the stapler and position it precisely where where you should be able to staple it without damaging the cards. So here we go. So push it down like so. Okay. And once that's done, it should be able to to act eventually seal to hold to hold it up. Damn to hold it up like so and we want to do the exact same thing with uh, the middle the middle part the middle and the back said we want to do the exact same we want to take take this side and do the exact same thing the last part here is 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 option is completely optional i mean i did this to my previous wallet so uh, i mean you don't have to do it it's completely up to you if you want to do so but if you if you if you're willing to do it then it, then i'll show you how how it's done so you don't so let's say that you don't want this you don't want this little flap to be to be pre present on your wallet. So what you want to do is grab your scissors and uh, and we're gonna cut this part of the wall. Start cutting the this, cutting the little flap like so, all the way up. And it should look like this. Now that the wallet is uh, completely finished, now what you want to do. Is, uh, if you want it to be to be permanently bent, just grab yourself grab yourself a stack of stack of textbooks or books or whatever the case may be. Stack all stack all kinds of books on top of this and leave them leave them around leave them like that overnight. And once that's done, then it should be able to completely fold like this instead of uh, instead of flapping like this instead of like popping out like like so. So yeah, here's your wallet. So anyway, guys. Uh, if you like this video as well as you checked out my previous videos on my on my YouTube channel of my YouTube channel, um, it would be better. Then you can go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like. And, but it would be most appreciated if you do so. So I'll even I'll even leave an annotation for on, on this video right here on your screen, like so. And it should be up here right about now. It should be pointing. It should be there where my fingers pointing. So anyway, with that said, um, I think that about wraps up this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Peace out. And take care.